Wilcox, 7 News. The risk of serious injury among Australian paramedics is more than seven times higher than anyone else on our roads, usually travelling fast to the scene of an emergency or leaving one with a patient. The cause often is confusion from other drivers about what to do around a rushing ambulance. So the service is teaching AMBOs new skills to protect themselves. It's not something you see every day, an ambulance on a racetrack, but lap speed and grid position is the least of worries for these paramedics. It can be seen as fun, but it's actually fairly serious for us because we take safety very seriously and uh, the uh, understanding of these technologies that'll keep the community safe while we're undertaking it both urgent duty and regular duty is uh, very important to us. They're getting the wet so I'm not pushing anything at all. New South Wales has the lowest fatality rate for paramedics killed while on duty, one in the past 35 years. But according to a recent study, nationally fatality rates are much higher. One paramedic or first aid worker dies every two years and 30 are seriously injured in vehicle crashes. The main risk of fatalities is related to transportation events and transportation events encompasses ambulance crashes, helicopter crashes as well as paramedics working on the side of the road and getting hit by a car. And this is where confusion is created because everyone's trying to move left and this car here, unless they wanted to turn right, it's kind of in the way. Simulating a real life scenario like a car pulling out in front of an AMBO while travelling at 80 kilometres an hour, paramedics are taught on how to navigate this three ton van in an emergency. They don't always hear us or see us coming, um, but we have to be prepared for it and these vehicles really help us to uh, do that effectively. The advice is to slow down and move to the left so the ambulance can pass. David Eccleston, 7-8.